Good evening, I'm Laura Yamada. And I'm Paula Akana. Thanks for joining us. The three leading candidates in the special election for the urban Honolulu seat in Congress faced off in a live debate tonight. And the stakes are high as mail-in ballots arrived in voters' homes over the weekend. KITV4's Kiyoki Kerr is live with highlights of some of the more heated moments in tonight's debate in our Commitment 2010. Kiyoki? Well, Paula, a poll released yesterday shows that Republican Charles DeJoux is eight points ahead of Democrat Ed Case, with Colleen Hanabusa, another Democrat, trailing in third place. And in tonight's debate, the most heated exchanges came between those two frontrunners. In a debate at the Blaisdell Exhibition Hall, sponsored by the Office of Hawaiian Affairs, the Honolulu Advertiser, and Hawaii News Now, the three candidates not only took questions from panelists, but from each other. And that's when Ed Case and Charles DeJoux got into it. Ed, your personal ambition has defined your career. Indeed, at one point, you ran for four different offices in a span of six years. DeJoux asked Case what assurances he could give to voters that Case has the voters' long-term interests at heart, instead of his personal ambition. And you only spent two years on the state legislature, as I recall. And then from there, you ran uh, for the city council. And you've served now on the city council for eight years, and you're termed out. Uh, so you need to go somewhere at this point, and you have now run uh, for the U.S. Congress. Uh, so which one of us uh, is uh, ambitious? DeJoux responded, leading to this exchange. I ran for this office, whether or not it was an open seat or not, and whether or not whomever would run in this race. That's not about ambition, it's about principles. When you actually answer the question on whether you would have voted against financial reform. I answer the question, Ed. I'll answer the question when you answer whether or not your ambition is bigger than your principles. But then Colleen Hanabusa and Case were asked if to keep from splitting the Democratic Party votes and allowing Republican DeJou to win, which one of them was willing to step out of the race? I think Colleen is, but I'm not. Just... <laughs> I think Ed will really consider it, but not me. Tonight, uh, asked tonight if he would vote for fellow Republican Sarah Palin if she runs for president. Charles DeJou's answer was, quoting here, probably not. The Office of Hawaiian Affairs paid three television stations $19,000 to run the hour-and-a-half debate live. That counts only airtime and not television production costs, facilities, rentals, and other expenses. Now, KITV4 holds our own congressional debate with these same three frontrunners Friday night starting at 7 p.m. right here with an entirely new set of questions. Education was on the agenda at tonight's debate and also across town at another event.